Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm a board certified criminal defense lawyer and I'm here kind of with a heavy heart. Um, we're going to talk with about uh, Deshaun Maurice Robertson, also known as uh, Lil Loaded. Now, if you remember, I did Block Baby a little while ago um, and we talked a little bit about his uh, indictment because he was indicted on a, a manslaughter case. And what manslaughter is, is uh, kind of a unintentional killing um, where you didn't really mean to do it, uh, but it, you were doing something dangerous, basically, and you acted in the face of danger and it caused a death. It's not as serious as some of the other types of cases that are out there. But the reason we're talking about uh, Lil Loaded or uh, Deshaun Maurice Robinson from Dallas is because he recently um, passed away and he recently took his own life. So I'm going to read you his last words that he posted on Instagram. Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I fell short making you proud and appreciative of the blessings uh, that have been put in my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you put in my life to keep me grounded and humble uh, through everything. And I love every single one of those people that are genuinely for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all my mistakes. I know you love all your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. Clearly a suicide note. Clearly, somebody in pain. You know, when we have, we as a people, we have some very, some instincts that, you know, you put your hand on a hot stove, you pull it away right away. You do everything to protect your life. You do everything to protect your children. You do everything to protect those that you love, right? And we've talked a lot on this cha channel about, you know, killings and, you know, but I want to take this moment to talk about how precious life is and how my heart goes out to uh, Mr. Robinson's family. Little Lodi was on his way up. He had a lot going for him. He had a lot going for him. He uh, recently went gold, according to uh, his record company. He um, had a lot of collaborations. He was about to be set for life financially. But you can have everything going on for you, and you got pain inside that nobody sees. You know, there's some talk about, you know, maybe he did this because of the pressure of the criminal case that he was facing. Maybe he did this because uh, some woman broke up with him. Maybe he did this for whatever other reason. But when anybody takes their own life, takes their own life, that, that instinct to protect your life is gone. There's something wrong inside. It's a permanent solution to what would otherwise be a temporary problem. You know, and I can speak with some authority in this subject. When my son was six years old, we lost his mother to suicide. She was a psychologist. She and I had split, but we were working on getting back together. And the day before our first date, when my son was six years old, she took a 357 Magnum from my house, went back to her place, and shot herself in the mouth and blew her head off. It was awful. Telling my son that he would never see his mother again was the hardest thing I've ever had to tell somebody to this day. The hardest thing. You know, the thing about it is, is if you know somebody that is, you know, you should, you, in fact, you should make it a point to know somebody in your life who's got issues. You know, uh, if, if anybody around you has issues, um, take note of it. Try to be there for that person. The, you know, as the, talking about your feelings in the you know in in the rap community and you know the tough guy community in the guy community guys don't like to talk about their feelings you know and so little loaded was loaded up on all kinds of issues that just became too much for him no one's going to know exactly how where you know how, you know what was the exact cause of 
his death, and you can't blame this on, on a woman. She didn't kill him. He killed himself. And that does, I don't mean to say that to sound cold, but it is awful to have somebody that you love do this. And people do this every single day for a variety of reasons. One of the main reasons they do it is to end their pain, but they don't end their pain. They put their pain on everybody else, everybody else that's in their life. And that pain doesn't go away. To this day, I think about my son's mother every day. Every day she's an angel on my shoulder, and I think about her every every day. You know, I do a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff on this channel. This is not tongue-in-cheek. This is very, very serious. And I care so much about the people that I represent, the people in my life, and I care about you guys too. It's really important that you think about what's going on with Little Loaded. Talk to your friends about it. Don't be flip about it. Don't say, I hate that hoe. I hate that bitch. You know, you might. Be there for his family. Put some kindness into his family. That's what I would recommend. Talk about it amongst yourselves. You know, if you know somebody that's depressed, do whatever you can to help them. But at the end of the day, whether they keep their life or end their life, it is their decision. I went through a long, long, long period of blame where I felt responsible for my wife's death. And I used to have nightmares. I used to have a recurring nightmare every night. I, I was in Iraq. There was a block of stone with a sword on it, and she was scheduled to be beheaded. That was my nightmare. And it was up to me to negotiate more time for her. It was awful. You know, losing somebody to suicide raises more questions than answers. You know, I, I had a case where I had a client that, you know, the, his girlfriend broke up with her. He took a shotgun and blew himself away right in front of her after he got really drunk at the bar. You can't take that back. It's a temporary problem. All of our problems are temporary. But when they're so bad that you feel like you have to take your life, they don't feel temporary. And I'm sure that's the way um, Mr. Robinson felt, is that his, his problems weren't temporary. And it probably just wasn't one thing. It was a number of things, I'm sure. That's usually what it is. It's a series of things that compound on each other. So I, I really want to emphasize that it's so important for you guys to be there for one another. Be kind to each other. You know, it, it, you, you don't lose anything by being kind. You know, I, I know, you know, one of the lines, I think this is the statement that he put out there is incredibly well written. And, um, Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. A lot can be lost by being heartless. A lot can be gained by being solid. So my advice to everybody watching this, and I hope there's a lot of people watching this, and when you, what I'd like you to do is share these messages with some other people. So put this in your Instagram feed and share it. You know, If we can prevent one suicide, it would be worth it. The message has got to be that life is worth it, that you are worth it, that people around you love you, care about you, and what's more is you're needed. You know, whenever we go to a funeral, a wedding, you know, any kind of holiday, there's one less person there, and she is felt, or, or her absence is felt. She'll never see my son's, you know, her grandchildren. She'll never see my son graduate from law school. You know, they're missing a lot of those things. So you can't take that back. 
So tonight, you look at the people next to you. Say something kind. A kind touch. A kind glance. A kind gesture. Nothing can be lost through kindness. And if you know somebody that's suffering from depression, do whatever you can to help them. I know this is kind of a preachy, not so fun um, episode, but I, I, I've been through this before. I've been through this three times before because my son's grandfather, my former father-in-law, he was the one that started it. He was a cop in New York. He was disabled on the job. And he took his life with a 357 Magnum to the back of the ear. Then my wife did it. And then her brother did it. Three suicides in that family. So when there is an event on that side of the family, those bodies are missed. Those eyes are missed. Those smiles are missed. The best thing you can do is be there for anybody in your life and extend whatever kindness you can to those around you. You know, feelings are like, I always told my son, you got to talk about your feelings because feelings are like, you know, uh, stuffing stuff into a pop bottle. And if you don't pour out the pop bottle every so often, it's going to shatter and stuff like this happens. So get comfortable with who you are. Get comfortable with opening up. Get comfortable with being kind. Get comfortable with humanity. You know, it really, my, I, my heart just goes out to his family. I can't imagine being the father of somebody that passes away like this. I just, it's just awful. You don't want to see your children hurt. So I won't get any more preachy with you. And I'm not trying to be preachy. This is just me, my genuine thoughts about uh, Lil Loaded's death. And, you know, you can have everything in the world and nobody knows the pain you got inside. So please tonight do what I said and be there for your folks be there for your children be there for your friends be there for each other this is Bruce Rivers Criminal Lawyer Reacts follow us on Instagram share this particular episode on Instagram because I want this message to go viral I want everybody to feel compassion for each other. Let's end suicide. Thank you.